Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here, welcome. I am so glad that you've clicked the video and that you are watching. If you like what you see, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button, you give me a thumbs up and you tap that bell. Today's video is not normally what I post. It's not necessarily homeschool based, which is what my channel is normally about. This is a video that I was tagged to do. It is a small YouTuber tag. And so this is really just why I started my YouTube channel. And so I have seven questions that I'm gonna answer and I'll put it in the um, description box below. And I'm gonna tag a few um, YouTubers as well that I'm gonna see if they wanna chime in and do this with me. So I've got the questions down here and I'm gonna make sure I look at them <laughs> to make sure I give you the correct ones. Now, so the first question is, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? Well, honestly, I wanted to start a podcast. That's what I thought I wanted to do because if you can't tell from all my previous videos, I love to talk. I have ADHD, so when I do talk, I talk pretty quickly and I'm very animated. And so I just assumed a podcast would be better because I can talk and people can't see me, move my hands and just be quick motioned. But I knew I wanted to hit points like on, on homeschooling because I'm new at homeschooling. This is year two and I had a lot of questions and I know when I had questions, I was here on YouTube or I was on podcast trying to find my answers. And so I wanted to be able to pour my research and knowledge back into other moms and, and families that are now looking for the same questions that, that I've looked for and answered for myself. And I'd love to be able to share my opinions and hopefully help someone else that's in my position or in the position I was in, be able to help guide them easier than, than what I had to go through. So not that it was a hard first year, but it was harder than it should have been. And that's my fault. So that's why it wasn't something that I ever really truly wanted or said, I'm gonna do this, but I do really enjoy it now. Um, and I'm glad that I started it. All right, so number two, what is the video you are most proud of? So the video that I'm actually most proud of is one of my videos, let's see, is posted about a month ago. It's our plan for the 2021, 2022 year the verse and the word of the year and my teaching style. And that one doesn't have a ton of views. It's literally only got 25, but I felt so good and so led about my verse of the year and about our word of the year. And I, I know it's where God led me. And because of that, I am very proud of that video. Um, so of course, since we're talking about it, if you haven't watched it, this is it and I'm gonna link it below, go watch it. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll like it too. Um, let's see, do you struggle with social media? <laughs> Absolutely, I struggle with social media. I struggle with comparing myself to what other people have, hoping and wishing I could do the same thing. Um, I struggle with being on it way too much. I catch myself constantly wanting and pulling myself more to my phone than things that need to be done in my home or with my children or with my husband, I find myself thinking, oh, I need to spend more time scrolling Instagram when really I should be reading my Bible or praying or reading this this book that, that I really want to read. So I definitely struggle with social media. Um, I do have to take breaks every once in a while to reset and kind of fast a little bit to get off of an addiction because that, that's what social media really can be. Um, but yeah, there's that one. Number five, what content creator inspires you most? Is probably going to be the Oglesby, Oglesby Ohana. Um, I absolutely love everything that she does and she posts a lot of videos and I love that. I love how often she posts and the things she posts about I don't always 
100% agree with everything that she posts or everything that she says, but that's the best part about it. I, you know, I, I love seeing and hearing other people's opinions on just different subjects that, that I know I differ on. So I would say hers is probably the most inspiring, but I also love the Waldock wall way. Um, I also love the little Ford that could. I love Grace Field, the practical homeschooler, three sweetie birds. I love um, the Sparrow and Lily Schoolhouse, fearlessly loved. Uh, Danina Farms, I love that one too. These Little Sprouts and Aim and Arrow. I love all of these homeschool channels and they each inspire me in a different way. And that's what I love about YouTube. It's so diverse and you can find so many different opinions and just outlooks on things that are different from yours. And I think we need more of that in today's culture. Um, what frustrates you about other content creators? I don't really have an answer for this one because I don't get frustrated at other content creators. I like the diversity. I like the difference of opinions. Um, I, I don't really have an answer to that one. Uh, number six, what frustrates you about your content? I don't really have a frustrating about my content. I think I get frustrated with myself when like just trying to find time to truly sit down and record or sit down and edit. I, I don't feel like I have enough time to do all of that even though I am a small YouTuber. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I mean, I've got what, 73? Um, so it's not like I have a ton of people here to watch all of my videos, but I still want to put in the work and the effort and I wanna take time to try to be professional and to make it look as good as I can. That's what I get for doing this outside. Um, so I do things like what I'm doing today. Today, you'll when maybe when you get to this video, you'll probably notice that I've got the same shirt on, <laughs> because in three videos because I'm sitting down and recording three different videos today in this exact same spot, wearing the exact same thing because that's what's easiest for me when it comes to making my content. And with me and and how I have, you know, my ADHD, my anxiety and stress with things. I do a lot better when I do a lot at once versus doing one, taking time editing, then doing another, taking time editing. So that's probably my biggest frustration. Fr mm -hmm. That's my biggest frustration. It's really with myself and how I have to mentally do everything all at one time in order for it to work right in my head. <laughs> And last but not least, number seven, what motivates you to make content? I think I kind of answered that with number one, and it really was to really try to reach other Christian stay-at-home moms who have the same questions, concerns, thoughts that I have or have had, and try to help guide them and hope to help at least one woman make this journey easier on them and hope that maybe some of my research takes away from something else that she has to do. So that is really it. Um, and so some of these ladies that I've already spoke about, the YouTube channels that I have already discussed, I'm gonna tag them in the, the description below or um, put their YouTube channel down below. And hopefully you'll be able to see a few more of, of them make this video as well. But that's all I've got. Hopefully you enjoyed this small YouTuber tag. Why did I start? and a few questions with it. But that's it, y'all. You have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.